Hi guys, welcome to my, my machine here. We're gonna have some fun. Why is that? Because we've rewritten our learning uh, path and the tweak tool is just a great tool to install your desktop on something else. In this case, why not start with the first one? Start with Cinnamon, add your tile to your system. And yes, I have a few virtual books lying around here so cinnamon alphabetically so cinnamon is here it's inaccessible right if it's not installed we install it but it is installed we update our systems maybe there are some things we can learn it's always uh, like that with me my videos always contain more than the title ever could just subscribe or describe is better on youtube right so F12, we're on Cinnamon, DE. We've used the ISO of 2105. The point of Arclix, the point of Archlix and other distros maybe as well, is that we stay rolling. Once we've installed, we just type update. That's the point. And everything stays the same. Now I know if you start with Linux, right, things break and that's that's fine and that's okay and that's why you can easily install any of our desktops 22 desktops 26 isos in a matter of 15 minutes you're back up and running that's cool that's learning money we've all been there but the point is try to get the knowledge to stay on a system that you've installed like two three years ago that's just no problem let's wait for the update to come and pause the video here. All right, it has finished. We do a scale because we want all our configurations to go to the home directory. And we do an SR, which is a shortcut for sudo reboot. And then we go for our Arcanix tweak tool. Now, what was the idea? Start with Cinnamon, add Qtile, right? We're not gonna make videos about every single desktop we have. You count uh, the possibilities, combinations you have with 22 desktops, right? XFC with i3, XFC with awesome, XFC with Qtile, XFC with etc. And tell me how many combos that is. But we do want to have Qtile. So Control Alt E, sorry, <laughs> I was doubting here. <laughs> Not Terminal, thank you. But um, the tweak tool so it's the new one you, you got to have um well you have to, to update right and then you get the latest tweak tool simple as that um awesome no qtile yes so again it's always interesting to tell you guys if it doesn't install properly well see what's happening on your machine your machine is your machine right so arconix tweak tool Launch it from this site, from the terminal, and you'll see messages that Pacman says, cannot download here, server is down, etc. Okay, install. And we wait, retrieving packages. A nice slider going. And then we say, Qtile has been installed. It's that simple. So we go for a logout. Was this logout? I think so. Yeah, a logout. We're back at SDDM, we can change our theme if you want to. So many beautiful themes out there. Then we change our session. And we have a look at Qtile. Voila, it's that simple, right? And um, it might be good, a good idea to add to the articles here that this is a great tip, right? So this is the great tip here. If you have an error in the Arclix 3 tool, go and launch it from the terminal. But the next great tip would be if you want to uninstall Qtile, you can do that too, of course. But we leave it up to you because we don't know what's on your machine. You don't, we don't know what your packages are. And in the downloads folder, I believe we have here a button that says download the cheat sheet. So this is Every package I need to know how to remove Qtile is just on there. 
So you download it, you open it, and you look for Qtile in this case, and let's zoom in. And you see, if to have Qtile, you need to have Qtile application, Python PSUtil, and basically that's it. If you remove these guys, it's not gonna be on your home, on your SDDM, on your login. And of course, uh, this is the config. So if you're not planning on using Qtile anymore, you get rid of it. So that's maybe also interesting for you to know. Control T, shift, su sorry, super shift, enter. They're all there. And you see, there will be challenges for you. You have a mix, you have cinnamon, right? And you have Q time. And that's why it's on phase four. On phase four in the learning path, it's, you have gone through phase one, phase two, and phase three, you have already visited Qtile. You know already how to set everything. It's there. How to do this, how to do that, how to change this, and how to change the icons, and all that, it's here. It's not here, right? It's still up to you to change the things that Qtile requires, because, again, you're mixing. And that's a, that's a fun story, anyway, because it's kind of a Sherlock Holmes story, and you have to figure out why is Tunar not is it on R? Yeah. Why is Tunar not behaving? Probably because it doesn't have the settings. Because this is a standard, what is it, GNOME or something? Standard uh, icons. So no, we don't want those. We don't also want maybe an Arc Dark or something as Steam. But I'll leave it up to you to figure it out. That's not part of the video. It's part of all the articles we have online, right? It's all about Qtile here. All right, enjoy Arch Linux, enjoy the tweak tool. Uh, it's a, a great and easy way to quickly have the desktop that you like and love, because at this point in time, in our learning path, you went through all kinds of elements and you might think, I love the combo of Cinnamon and Qtile. And that's that easy to do. All right, cheers.